God. Mm. Uh, um. Steve is a different person heavy than he was fit. I quit brushing my hair. I quit shaving. The truth of the matter is there's not been a lot of romance. I have a call for myself. This is not who I am. I'm so ready for this to be over. I am losing my life to do this. In just four months, I threw it all away. Millions of us are overweight. We turn to experts for advice on how to get from fat to fit. But the experts don't understand because they've never been fat. I'm Drew Manning. As a personal trainer, I failed again and again to help my heaviest clients get fit. Eventually, I realized the problem was me. So I went on a journey to discover what it's like to be fat. I've gained 75 pounds. I developed a fatty liver and the kidneys of an alcoholic. Getting fit again was the hardest thing I've ever done, but it made me a better man. Now trainers from across the country are participating in the most extreme weight loss experiment ever. They're trying to gain as much weight as they can and then lose it with their clients. It's a journey that could change both their lives forever. My name is Steve. I'm 44 years old. I've been a trainer for 23 years. <clears throat> I do enjoy the way the weights make me feel. The lactic acid starts to build up. Everything hurts. I measure myself that way. I, I really enjoy the burn. <clears throat> My wife and I have owned Max Fitness for six years. When Bonnie and I first met, um, we were both into physical fitness. I met her in the gym, and she didn't even remember my face. I saw her later on where I worked, and she said, oh, you're the guy with the vein in his arm. In the last 15 years, she and I have really been side by side. I wonder what's gonna happen. I've always been fit around Bonnie, and I can't help but wonder if she's gonna be unattracted to me, or, or if, if I'm going to push her away, just feeling unworthy. If you lost five pounds of fat, that's what you lost. That's only five pounds of fat. This is five pounds of muscle. Listen, don't throw away your investment. This was really hard and it's really precious, all right? Don't go and get this. Being overweight is definitely a choice. I'm gonna get hate mail, I don't care. Nobody is overweight by accident. At some point, you put something in your mouth that didn't belong there. I'm gonna cut the salmon up into hopefully about four ounce portions. I have a very small menu. I like to stay with the same things all the time. That keeps me from overeating. It keeps the food rather bland and it becomes very efficient. I like to look at my nutrition like it's a Petri dish. And that way I'm very accountable for everything in there and it's easier to track. If you eat less, you will lose weight. There is nobody on the planet that won't lose weight if you eat less. About to check out my new client. One of the biggest things I'm looking forward to is putting myself into the skin of, of the client. I'm looking forward to gaining some empathy and understanding into a completely different lifestyle. Tasha Lee Cruz. My name is Tasha Cruz, and I'm 38 years old, and I'm from Vero Beach, Florida. I am 5'4", around 240-ish pounds. I love being a mom. It is my greatest accomplishment. Oh, we're done. I love to see my children happy and my husband happy. So my whole goal is to just be the best mom I can be. Would you like to try a slow grade school sport combo today? Oh, no, thank you. I tend to worry about other people's feelings before my own. My mom is a caring, loving mom. She's a selfless mom. That's the best way I can say selfless. I do not think I'm a good example for my kids right now, health-wise. 
I'm afraid if I continue down this road that I'm not gonna be there for their future. I don't feel proud of myself. My husband, he met me thin, in shape, right out of high school, like no flaws, and he's been there through all the body changes, and he, he, he deserves better. She's everything to me, you know, I, I, I couldn't see myself being without her, I just couldn't do it. Um, no matter what she looks like or whatever, the person she is is just remarkable. I don't think many people would stay with their wife gaining 100 pounds, so. I'm lucky. I'm just hoping that she, um, I guess she really, sorry. <laughs> that she really is proud of herself. I want her to believe that. Sometimes I just don't think she does. <laughs> I'm going to Tasha's house. She and I are going to sit down and have a little heart to heart. And maybe some coming to Jesus type conversation. And then I want to reveal to her the weight gain that, that I'm going to have. I think that heavier people aren't accountable. Matter of fact, I think a lot of them are enabled. My first inclination is, get up, move more, eat less. Fit people, I think, they've never been in our shoes. Like, if you have never been this overweight, you can't even imagine how hard it is for us to lose weight. Hey, Steve, <laughs> the only difference between me and an overweight person is the accountability. Come on into the kitchen. That's where I want to head. <laughs> because left unchecked, I think we would all drift towards our, our desire just to feed the flesh and just whatever makes us happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is there anything in here that's not a carb? Pasta sides, stuffing sides. Oh my gosh, macaroni and cheese. Here's what I'm concerned about. You're buying a lot of instant type stuff mm -hmm. that's easy to grab for. If I had to scale this from one to 10, you get a zero. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, I mean, this is awful. I do have that battle of why, why did you make that choice? Why did you eat that food? And I honestly don't know why I lose that battle. Now, I am not beyond putting myself in your shoes. The reason we've prolonged this for four months is to give me time to gain 45 pounds. Shut up. So, oh my God, Steve. My fitness, I've kind of put it in that high place. And I think you're worthy to, for me to lay that down and, um, you know. Oh, don't me. cry, I'm yeah. so sorry. It's, it's something I'm willing to do if it changes your life. And if other people can watch this and they can learn from it, then why not share it with everybody, right? Oh. So, we're going to learn a lot together. Oh, my God. So we're going to work out together and lose it together. Absolutely. I was already in, but I can, like, way beyond that now. I cannot believe you're doing this. Like, no, not you. Like, oh, my God. He's going to struggle. Steve's going to struggle with the change in his body. Yeah. I mean, you're used to looking at something in the mirror that looks like that. So good, so buff, so tight and his face is gonna change, self-confidence will change. A lot of that's gonna change, his mental as well. We finally get to eat. <laughs> I am taking the gloves off and we are grubbing, man. No consequences or repercussions. I, I haven't ever had this. Just look at that crazy thing. Yeah, I know, right? I wonder how many pounds they'll take to hide it. Steve currently weighs 185 pounds. His goal is to gain just under 25% of his body weight in four months. It won't be easy. That would be a gain of 45 pounds, which would make him a total of 230. Usually, my intake of calories is between 1,800 and 2,200. <laughs> I need to increase my body mass. Even 5,000 calories isn't going to cut it. But you give me a challenge, I'm going to try to meet it. Drop it down your mouth. Oh, man. Oh my god. Barbecue short ribs. And we have our first fondue. Fondues are probably uh, death in a hot pot. It's not something you really want to eat, even as a cheat meal. Are you all right? Are you okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Steve. That is not going to happen. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> you all right? Oh my gosh. We need to see the dessert menu. Oh. I'm just gonna um, walk out on the patio. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> After a lifetime of eating clean, 
Steve's body isn't prepared for this radical change in diet. I'm just uh, feeling super full and the nausea just coming in waves. I thought I was gonna get sick at the table, but as soon as I got some fresh air and stood up, I feel okay. <laughs> but even as I say that, I to get another wave, so. Um, okay, this is really sad, but I'm kind of hoping I hang in there until I get the cookies. Until I get the cookies and cream fondue. And then, uh, you know, that's probably gonna be it. <laughs> I'm gonna throw in the towel. It's either gonna come up or I'm going home, man. But, uh, but I'm gonna finish this meal. Excuse me. Oh, boy. Is that right? Yeah. Just not feeling good. Oh, that looks good right there. <laughs> We're going to have to go. Just coming, I was fine when I went outside, but just coming back in with all the smells and stuff, just can't do it. The biggest reason for me wanting to do this is I want to find out who I am without fitness. Are there other things that should have a little more importance? Oh, Bonnie. You okay? Oh I'm my so gosh. Sorry. I feel so, I wish I could help you. Can you drive? Yeah, totally, I can. When I left the restaurant, I kind of remember leaving, but I was in that trauma state. I mean, my body was shutting down. I've never, ever felt so awful. I'm not gonna make it home. You're gonna tell me if you throw up, right? Oh, man, I gave it a college try. Yeah, you did. Oh, boy. Well, I'm food prepping, and I don't want to get fat with you. <laughs> I'd get fat with you. I would. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh, Steve. Mm. Um. You're so full of sound effects. Steve started his fit to fat journey weighing 185. In the first two weeks of eating, he's already gained 15 pounds. But in the next four months, he still needs to gain 30 to reach his goal. Right now, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, now we're, we're full on into this relationship with food. And we're starting to learn each other a little better. Oh, that is just gnarly gross. I'm probably eating right now between four and 7,000 calories a day. Um, cheesecake, ice cream, cookies. I can pretty much pack it away. This is by far the biggest burrito that I've ever had in my entire life. The fun part for me is not just tasting all the food and stuff. It's really the freedom to just pick whatever I want to eat. Baby back ribs are on the way, and then a big black and blue burger. I actually thought I was gonna be a little bit heavier. Uh, I thought I was gonna be closer to 20. So here I am just three weeks into this and I'm already wearing a tent. My cart has drastically changed where we have pizza. This is gonna be something new. Um, brownie brittle. And in a lot of ways, I'm in a much better mood. You know, I, I used to be so regimented, but now I'm really enjoying everything. Things are tasting good and that's very unusual for me. I'm kind of redefining who, who Steve is really supposed to be. Fast food's growing on me. It really started off disgusting. The fact that it's pretty cheap and I can stop off and get it anytime just on a whim, um, I think I'm gonna miss that almost more than it tastes. Uh, maybe. Kind of curious to see what'll, what'll happen. 204, a little frustrating. Four weeks into this, I don't feel like I'm gaining weight as much as I should. Trying to eat 7,000 calories is just not working. And I do think that I didn't gain as much weight as I thought because I think I'm losing muscle at the same time gaining fat it's since I can't really work out at all. Before, after, before, after. In a month and a half, Steve has only gained 20 pounds. He still has to gain another 25 in the next two months. I honestly thought this was gonna be a joke. I thought 2.30, I could sneeze and be 2.30. You can do it. Root me on. Steve, Steve, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you try and try and try and do everything you can and it still doesn't result in anything, 
um, I feel like I've, I've failed completely. Think about this. This is really good stuff to remember. You feel like you're doing everything you should be to gain weight, but you're not getting the results. Yeah, the things that we say to our clients of, you're doing everything right, your body's changing right. to stay the course. You just gotta do the no, exact same thing but the opposite direction. I'm gonna stick to the plan, and that's when I started thinking about Tasha. And I started thinking about other people too, that if they'll just stick to the plan no matter what, that eventually the results will catch up. I've been behind in my goal weight each week. I'm shooting for 212, that's what I'm going for. Drum roll please. Ugh. 210. I feel 215. <laughs> Crap. You know, I'm supposed to gain four pounds a week. I gained seven or eight pounds over the entire month. Every time I see that scale, it started to become a trigger for anxiety. Say it ain't so. I just can't seem to gain weight. No matter how hard I try, I still can't gain any weight. I'm uh, frustrated at this point with everything, and um, I'm, I guess I'm sort of doubting myself. Uh. <clears throat> the hardest thing about this challenge, it's the way I feel. It's been an hour, do you wanna get up? Even though I'm not gaining weight as fast as I'd like, I I'm still feeling the effects of overeating. I am feeling rather lethargic and groggy right now. I don't know if it's a lack of energy from not working out. I quit brushing my hair. I quit brushing my <coughs> teeth. I quit shaving. You know, I don't know if I'm in this depression or if, if I'm not working on my body, then I'm not gonna work on anything else. I have a lot of things psychologically going on with me, and I haven't figured them out. <laughs> Bonnie is getting tired of hearing me complain. I mean, I understand being like kind of nauseous because you're full, but a few bikes and you get sick, that's not being, that's not suffering from being full. I, I never thought Steve would be lazy. I, I didn't think that he was gonna be this exhausted and tired at all. Bonnie and I were, were real dynamic before, and now it's Bonnie holding up the whole team. You know, we're the fit couple. There's Bonnie and Steve, the fit couple. Are we more than that? Steve is a different person heavy than he was fit. I think what makes you lose attraction, it's the laziness on an intimacy level. The truth of the matter is there's not been a lot of romance because he's wore out. We just got home from a date and it was cut short because he was sick. I miss him, I miss my man. I'm so ready for this to be over, this part. When it comes to gaining weight, I don't know crap, and I think that that's just frustrating. I don't know what else to do. I am losing my life to do this. In just four months, I threw it all away. I started at about 185 pounds, and as it stands, I still have nine pounds left to go. Nine pounds is a lot. I think the biggest weigh-in I've had so far is four pounds. Right now, I totally feel like I'm failing. I feel like a failure. I feel like a gladiator about to uh, enter the Roman amphitheater, and my opponent is about to go down. Today is the last breakfast before my last weigh-in. My last weigh-in was 221, so I'm down by nine pounds. Coming up on the end of this, I am really pushing hard. I'm willing to eat whatever I need to eat just to make sure that I, I hit that weight. It has been tough. I want to make my way in for Tasha. I want to make it because I just set a goal and I live for goal attainment. I know I tried my hardest. I have to make the scale move. I feel like I owe her that. I feel like I owe this journey that to know that I made it to the summit. Um, climbing a mountain and knowing you tried your hardest it still doesn't really matter if you don't make it to the top. That's a huge change. The vein I had, it's pretty much gone. I'm ready to get this weigh-in done. If I do make 230, it's, it's a miracle, but we'll see. The only way I'd feel totally comfortable about being done is if I hit those numbers. All right, let's oh do it. Oh my gosh. 
You know, sometimes I, I get emotional. I hope not to fall apart on the scale, but that's why I have Bonnie here with me today. <laughs> it's gonna happen. In four months of eating, Steve gained 45 pounds and weighed in at 230, hitting his goal. I am going to meet Steve for the first time since I first met him four months ago. I hope he followed through and did what he said he was going to do because we had made a covenant to each other, like a promise to each other that we were in this together. Do I think he gained 45 pounds? No, no way, not in four months. He was pretty lean and muscular, that's for sure. It's about to get real right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Different? Oh, God. <laughs> Don't mush my <laughs> boobs. <laughs> so much, I know. <laughs> I know, I got boobs. Oh, yeah. Steve looks huge. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, Great it was job. A lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. So I guess I expected that reaction. Look at that. I got, got back fat. <laughs> you know, I see Steve as just looking like a normal, typical middle aged man. God dang it. Not someone who's, you know, very into his body or his appearance. Different, huh? Yeah. It's my still. cheeks have gotten huge, man. They're and they're, they're still hard. They're hard, right? Even your veins are all like gone. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, yeah. I did this for no other reason than than to for us to both come back together. Oh wow, Steve. I'm not crying today, but wow. Steve gaining the weight means a lot to me. It's inspiring that he would change his body totally just to get a feeling of what it's like on this side. I got emotional when I got off the scale. Just, you know, the whole thought of the last four months what? was just really hard. This was my investment. And and honestly, I'm gonna expect the same thing Out from of me. you. And there was times I sat there with that plate and had discussions with it. And you're gonna do the same thing, obviously, in, right. in reverse. Right, but, but uh, I can talk to you. That would be the great part is that I'll have you too. I was really astonished at what I look like heavier. Have you thought about what your body's gonna look like skinnier? Constantly. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Are you so stoked to get started? <laughs> Me so too. <laughs> I'm all in. That's 100% in. Don't look, where do you think you're at? 213. 212. 212. Tasha's goal is to lose 62 pounds in the next four months to get her down to 150. Steve needs to lose the 45 pounds that he gained, but losing maybe even harder than gaining. 62 pounds, that's like three pounds a week. With somebody who's 5'4 and being female, it's gonna be a lot of work. It's not gonna be yeah. easy, yeah. but I think it's doable. Okay. You think that's attainable? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Really? I don't know. It worries me, yeah, that's a lot. If I am unable to lose this weight, I will have failed yet again. It's just gonna come down to how bad you want it. Okay. I think this is my last chance. If I don't do it now, I will never do it. We're at the beach about to put Tasha through a conditioning workout. In the next four months, Steve will try to return to his starting weight. Tasha's goal is to get to 150 pounds. Steve will try to draw on his own experience to help Tasha lose 62 pounds. We're going to just push her as hard as we can. I, I need everything she's got, but once we get to work, it's gonna be nasty. There's gonna be sprints, there's gonna be bear crawls, uh, there's gonna be walking lunges, heavy carries, all those things, it's gonna be exponentially hard because of the sand. Right. All right, so the only thing you need to do is pick up whatever I tell you to pick up and do whatever I tell you to do. Okay. You ready to do this? Yeah. I want Tasha to find her limits. Sprint, let's go. Sprint, Tasha, sprint. No, 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 fast, 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 fast. Stay with me, stay with me, no matter what it takes. Six and seven, stay with me. I don't care how you feel. Eight, fast, 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 fast. Come to me. Oh my God. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All the way down, all the way down. Are you ready to go at it again? Oh my. Five, 
Six. Seven. Get it, girl. No, no, no. One. Don't stop. Eight. Nine. One, two. Tasha, I need you now. Give me a real lunch. I knew coming in that I had a lot of work to do, but I didn't realize I was this out of shape. Don't peter out, Tasha. I need it all. I can tell Tasha's shutting down. She's giving me what she thinks 100% is, but then there's no extra effort. Bring yourself forward, like there. Push yourself forward. See those arms? You quit anytime you want. No, don't say that to me. I'm just saying. Please don't say quit. Do you want to quit, Tosh? No. You're gonna have to dig deep. I am. <laughs> Tasha has imprinted a lot into the word quit. It almost automatically evokes a very emotional response. I can tell that's a really hard, hard thing for her. Which is, look at me. You okay? Yeah. So what's your big hang up? Every time I said, are you gonna quit? You I got can't really quit. emotional. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know, it's just something, I'm very afraid of quitting or failure. Everything has always been a challenge. Nothing has ever come easy. And I was on another journey <laughs> to lose weight because it's been a battle. And I was getting up at 5 a.m. and I was thinking of my family the entire time. So, so I just gave up. Our family is everything. I always put them first. Because family is all uh, that you have. Damn it. Well, real selfishness <laughs> is staying obese, not doing anything about it, and, and leaving your family without a mother. You've got a track record of not making the goal and not keeping it off. Absolutely. Let's take the next four months, and even if it feels a little selfish, just to put you first, just for four months. How do you think you're going to do after four months? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> just watching you do it, it was brutal. I want to put myself through the same gauntlet. All Let's right. go do this. Okay. It's been four months since I've exercised. I want to see how I fare, one, compared to how I used to do, but I also want to see how I do compared to Tasha. <laughs> All right, on your mark. You got it. Get set, go. One. Oh, man. She's wheezy. Oh, man. Halfway through the workout, I really wanted to quit. One, two, three. Come on, Steve, you got it. If it wasn't for One, Tasha two, having two, done the same thing I just did, I think I really would have quit. Yeah, go, Feaster, come on. Seven. Two more. Two more, Steve. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Eight. I'm surprised by all these feelings. The entire thing was harder than I thought. I knew it was gonna be difficult, but I didn't think it was gonna be impossible. I'm a douche, I did that to you? Whoa, what a jerk. So Steve just got his butt handed to him on the workout. It was a total shocker for me that it was that hard for him. I, um, I mean, in four months, I didn't realize that your body can shut down and you can quickly lose your endurance. Uh, my body's really shaking, but it's just, it's just done. Are you embarrassed with your performance and how you did? Yeah, embarrassed, disappointed. I've been worried for four months that I was gonna lose my desire, lose that drive. And I think that's what's the most upsetting right now. The harder it got, the less I wanted to do it. You know, that's not me. I don't know, I just gotta get my attitude right. A big part of me feels like just hitting the first drive through I find and getting loaded up on a bunch of french fries and milkshake and double cheeseburger and not worry about these feelings. I got a lot riding on this. As a trainer, you need to earn respect. Now I've really put myself in a bad position trying to gain her respect. So Tasha and I are here really early today trying to beat everybody. 
Natasha started her fat to fit journey weighing 212 pounds. In the next four months, she needs to lose 62 pounds to reach her goal. Steve will need to lose 45 to return to his starting weight. All right, you ready? I'm ready to go. Yeah. Okay. I don't like it. You're gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. Next time you won't go as high. Three, push, push, push. Hit the white button. Or do that. I hate the Stairmaster. I hate it. I think that's why he makes me do it so often. I feel it working. Still think Tasha's beating me. So far, I'm really tired. Did it suck that I couldn't have pizza on pizza night? Sure. My food was bland, but. I'm not eating for the taste right now. I'm eating to fuel my body and get used to everything being boring and bland. I'm not gonna lose this weight unless I change my ways. I saw boxers do this. <laughs> I saw them do this. I always go like this. Okay, that's what we'll do. Woo! Look at that! <laughs> All right, I can't look at you. Listen, when you do the work, it pays off. Yes. It, it works. I feel more confident, and, and it's only just beginning, so I cannot imagine how I want to feel when 10 comes off, and 20, and 30. It's going to be a long haul before I feel that. It's just exciting, feeling better about yourself. I used to make fun of people on Facebook, and they're like, I see a new cut, or I see a new vein. But I kid you not, I just... <laughs> I see a new vein. <laughs> it is so good. I don't know. Healthy food can taste really, really good, and especially when uh, you're really, really, really hungry. <laughs> One ninety-seven point five. I am actually lighter than you were last week. Yeah. I'm not rubbing it in. Mm. Jerk. Make all this worth it right here. Okay. What's your number? One ninety. I'm one ninety-eight, so I want to be one ninety-three or lower. Right on. Hands up. Look at that. Please don't be quiet. Please tell me something good, Steve. One ninety-five. Three pounds. Cut it off for a second. <laughs> What's the matter? Dad, this spider trying so hard. You you're feel right. like your work should have equaled this. Yes. Work. Well, life's not like that. Stick to the program that we're doing. Don't let up at all. I want it so, so bad. I'm thinking that I'm going to fail. My family left to go out of town. I cannot go out of town, so I stayed behind so I could give 110% to my commitment. I just feel that putting myself first is selfish, and I'm having a really hard time with that. As a family, we usually do everything together. I'm missing out. It doesn't make me feel like I'm being the best mother I could be. They deserve to have me around. Right now, I'm headed to Tasha's house. I think Tasha's having a hard time. She's really struggling and, and contemplating maybe throwing in the towel. I really need to get past this emotional stuff with Tasha for her to understand what it's going to take to continue a, a healthy lifestyle. As, as hard as you're working and as much as you're dieting, I can tell there's a little impatience with how fast you want this to happen. Oh, we're working so hard. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like when the scale wasn't showing it and I cried, I was like, all this hard work, hardly right. eating. I was Completely. like, come on. You know, it's not, not about just hitting a mark on a scale. For you to be who you need to be for all the other little people in this house, you need to do some things for yourself. And, and I just want you to get it in your head that that's not selfish. I think that it's from the guilt of you investing in yourself. You can't let that guilt become an excuse for you to not take care of yourself. That becomes the reason why you need to stay healthy. I know what fitness has done for me, and 
When I focus on my health and I really want to take care of myself, Bonnie's the one who truly benefits. I get to feel the self-esteem and the confidence and the health, but man, that makes me a better husband. I just really want you to take that to heart because that's that was a hard lesson for me to learn. I think this is going to be extremely difficult for Tasha. Is she going to meet her goal in time? This is where the rubber meets the road. Something I've never done before scares me, and it's hard for me to put myself first. I don't know if I can. After having the talk with Steve, I feel like he opened my eyes to a lot of things that I didn't want to admit to myself. Going forward, it, it, it's just going to be hard. But I know it's what I have to do. Steve has reached the end of his journey. In the first four months, he struggled to gain 45 pounds. Wow, this is not who I am. He spent the next four months trying to get back to his original weight of 185. It's been an eye-opening eight months that challenged his health, relationships, and even his identity. I've been doing everything that I know how to do to get back into shape. This has been quite a challenge because I was really pushing the limits. I wanted to see how fit I could get my body. <laughs> I am as fit as I could possibly be. I redefined kicking my own butt. I took it to an all new level of diet, discipline, and exercise. I got my vein back. One sixty-eight point seven. Brain blown. Steve made his goal, but continued to lose weight to support Tasha. He now weighs seventeen pounds less than his starting weight. I didn't want to lose sixty pounds necessarily, but I felt like it became mandatory when I saw how it was motivating Tasha. So it kind of just happened. Today is Tasha's big debut the end of Tasha's journey and the beginning of the rest of her life. She's got a lot of family that hasn't seen her yet. I am super excited to see what their faces are going to look like when Tasha comes through the door. Steve! What's up, buddy? How are you? Hey. Hey, man. Sing it. Uh, this is my yeah. mom, Lisa. Uh, hey, Lisa. Hi. Is that Jordan? Yeah, man. <laughs> Good to see you again. I'm going to see my mom for the first time in a while. I've been away at college. I'm so excited for her. I'm glad she has dedicated time and effort to herself. You guys are going to be freaked out. Eight months ago, Tasha wasn't really involved in any kind of regular exercise. She had a relatively sedentary lifestyle. Her idea of eating right was, you know, prepackaged food. It was just a, a different mentality. I'm anxious and excited. I finally get to show everyone how hard I've been working and but I finally did it. Tasha, 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 Tasha. That's not her. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's not her. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't even recognize you. Oh my God. You did so well, Mama. <laughs> When my mom walked out, I didn't even realize it was her, to be honest. Goodness, that was fun. <laughs> I can pick her up. I haven't picked my mom up ever. Goodness, my goodness. It was unbelievable. I'm so happy right now. I'm ecstatic. Hi, Em. Well, let me hug my babes. <laughs> There's not a word I can express how proud of Tasha I am. Oh, my God. Like her. Tasha is a very selfless person. She always does everything for everybody else. And it was awesome to see her really focus on her. I'm like a kid at Christmas, like, oh, come on, come on, <laughs> come on, where's the present? And you came out like a present. Thanks, babe. Bye. Thank you so much. I love you. So proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Um, today, seeing everyone's reaction was amazing. Can I see those calves, please? Look at those calves. Oh, beautiful. Oh, 
no, not my favorite. Muscles, yeah, your muscles. There you, go. <laughs> you guys have a huge reason to be proud of this woman. One of the biggest obstacles you had to overcome was feeling selfish, and it's like yes. investing in yourself. Look at what you just gave. Yeah. You know, come on. Yeah, not selfish. You, you should just really be proud of Tosh. I did it. I had it all. I had it in me the whole time, and I did it. I did it. I did it. I, from the bottom of my heart, really appreciate all the love and support that I've gotten. And Steve, oh, I've never hated you. I've always loved you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for pushing me and supporting me. You're the one who instilled in me that you have to do it for you, Tasha. Yeah, that pushed me a lot. So I thank you for that. <laughs> When I started this journey, fitness somewhat defined me. After eight months of digging deep, I realized that I don't need fitness to, to be who I am. However, I do need fitness to be the trainer I need to be, to be the husband I need to be. Fitness is going to help describe me, but it's not gonna be all I am. Hey. Hey. Man, you look great. <gasps> Thank you. You ready for this? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> All I'm right. extremely nervous. Ready? Yes. All right. I'm good. Get on it. You just keeping your eyes closed? No, I always look up. No, when you're quiet. No, you're, you're gonna love it. Yeah. All right, check it out. Beat it. Yay! 149. You okay? Oh. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Tasha met her goal of losing 62 pounds in four months and weighed in just under her goal weight of 150. Oh, nice, that's perfect. Stay right there, right there. Yeah. This has been a total life-changing experience. Mom, get it. Right here, Mama. Right here, right here. Oh, he's out. Oh, wow. All I ever want is to be the best mom and the best wife I could be. At this stage of my life, I really feel like I, I am that person. And it's awesome. Yeah, don't you grab Jordan, he's right behind. Yes. Every aspect of my life has been changed for the better. It feels amazing. Whoa, yeah, that was good. Oh, one. that's a beautiful. Even though struggles are a little different for all of us, it's not gonna come easy. I've learned that a lot of heavy people have just lost hope. But once they decide that they want to be fit, you can help them start setting up some goals. And now I know how to show them how to get there. Team Cruises!